Hi friends, MD Vegan. We're making breakfast with an ice cream on top of a fruit salad. And um, it's a fancy breakfast I, sh I show you in a, in a, in a, in a balloon bo a bowl, glass. It's a beautiful uh, composition, but it's very simple. <laughs> Actually, I have just three fruit. And the combination is about two fruit exactly. So very simple. It's just raspberries and with just a handful of raspberries here. Yeah. And uh, one nectarine. They're right in season, both of them. <laughs> and um, I love this combination. Um, it has a wonderful sweet and sour dance. And on the background of some bananas uh, for a fruit salad, is that a nice start to begin? And um, they dance even nicer, yeah, on this kind of neutral background. The textures stand out a little bit. The banana has a more neutral one. And so that's what I do. I always try new combination. Now it's a nectarine and raspberry. And of course, I play with this um, flavor combination with a dressing. I add a cashew yogurt dressing with a lemony flavor. And um, for that, I need an, uh, my yogurt. And you can make your own or you can purchase any yogurt, plain yogurt. This is a cashew yogurt. I show you how to make this if you like. It's in another video linked under this one. It's just blending cashews with the water one to one and acidophilus bacteria. These bacteria are especially for yogurt. It's a white powder. It's just the tiniest amount, not even the tip of a fi little finger. You need that. And I blend the yogurt uh, with a banana yeah, to get the nicer texture. The, the cashew yogurt by itself is a little bit heavy. Nuts are fat, so that is a little bit heavy. And when you blend it with a banana, you get a lighter and a little bit more um, nice creaminess. It shines a little bit. I have done that before without the yogurt, just blending, for example, cashews and bananas or other nuts. And you get this shininess, this um, silken creaminess. It's very nice. And I add, for the flavor, lemon zest. Lemon zest is the the lemony part of the, the lemon inside the juice that is um, half a lemon zest inside the juice is rather sour if you want to compare that the lemon zest is rather lemony so I got that flavor here and this lemony flavor together with the banana and the tart cashew yogurt brings this flavor combination of the raspberries and the peaches are the nectarines sorry even more to dance it's like the background music so Revo Blend, a German brand blender, very uh, recommended. Check it out, Blender Dance. The dressing not only adds nutrition, I like that also in uh, vegetable salads. My dressings for me are nutritious oftentimes, so I'm more nutritious, lasting. Let me show you first the dressing. It also adds a nice flavor and the texture. That is something I really like to play with, as I said. Oops, there's something I need to get out. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Here. Here is the yogurt. You see the yogurt dressing? You see the color? It's a broken white. And it's important that it's a little bit runnier. The yogurt by itself would make it a little bit heavy. It would make the fruit salad a little bit clumsy, if you want to say that. Um, I tried it before. I love yogurt in the breakfast. It's also for the intestine. If you want to do something really good for your intestine, yogurt is the way. The bacteria, they uh, ferment the nuts and they make it a really nice um, journey for the bacteria in the intestines. That is the part where the big part of our immune system resides in the intestines that the bacteria and when they got, these guys are healthy that's a very good start for overall health so yogurt is very nice it's a common thing for breakfast and you can add as I said any kind of yogurt to your to your fruit salad I would uh, um, look for the texture that is a little bit um, runnier um, cashew yogurt is special it's a little bit heavier it's a little bit thicker, like a Greek yogurt, kind of, and that's my favorite yogurt right now. I also make other kinds of yogurt, 
depends. You can almost any kind of nut or seed you can make a yogurt with, or a cheese, or plant milk. It's a fantastic. You have, we have this um, endless vegan variety, and nothing um, shows it so nicely as the non-dairy milk. Especially the market is hugely expanding, and um, well, I make my own here, but there is a great variety outside. So you have a choice. And this is here, they're all different, yeah. And here is a, my fruit salad, you see the colors here. Now, it's a wonderful breakfast, and it's always different every day. Now I make an ice cream on top, it's <laughs> another fancy thing on top, but I have to go to the freezer. There are some ingredients in the freezer, I make it just a lemon ice cream, and I have some bananas in the freezer. I make a blitz ice cream, I'll show you in a moment. These are my ingredients for the ice cream, five. And of course, mainly the frozen bananas. Um, here I show you. And um, so importantly, when I uh, when I freeze them, I make sure they are really soft and ripe. When they are not so ripe, uh, the ice cream turns into something gooey. The texture is not so nice. So that is, I mean, you can eat bananas in any kind of ripeness, any state. They have all benefits for the health. That's another topic, but for the ice cream, just to have this nice creamy texture, you want to make sure the ice bananas are very ripe. So that I do, and then I cut them into slices, as you see, and when I take them out of the freezer, they are stick together, and I have to make sure the, the um, pieces are falling apart with a knife or a little bit, a thick butter knife, to make sure. That's also important because I want to make Blitz ice cream, and that means I want to make Blitz ice cream that I can scoop right away after making the ice cream. I don't have to freeze it again. I don't need an ice machine. Just the food processor fitted with the S blade. And to make that work, the S blade is a larger blade as compared to the blender, the power blender. The smaller blades are very fast and powerful. But this is not so fast and it doesn't create that much heat. And that's why. I can process a little bit longer and the bananas turn into wonderful creaminess. So put the bananas right on top of the blades and now I can make it, I can refine this. It's called an ice cream, the banana ice cream. I guess that's Americans say that. <laughs> and to refine that, to come closer to the ice cream that you get when you have an ice machine or something like that, yeah, I add, for example, a small amount of cashew flour. As I said, small amount is important. Here, the coffee grinder makes sure I get my cashews ground or other nuts or seeds. You can make this flour, this meal. And it's not too much because when it's too much, again, you get the gooey ice cream. <laughs> you have it, um, depends on the nut. Almonds, for example, can you also can take almonds for a nice vanilla flavor, but almonds are even harder. They make it even gooier. So a smaller amount of almonds, what kind of nuts you take is all different. I mean, we don't know that much about plants and how they play together in these kind of recipes so far. Um, but when you begin to take nuts and seeds and make non-dairy milk products, alternatives, as they call it in the market, it's a whole new world. It's so fascinating. And we don't know so much about it. The textures, flavors, you know, uh, there are so many different things we can learn. So a little bit of cashew flour will make this banana ice cream really nice and creamy. And um, now the flavor. The flavor is, um, I have again a, uh, let's begin with the, with the flavor. The main flavor is again, is the lemon zest. It's a lemon ice cream, so I need a half a lemon again for let's say two and a half cups or three cups of banana slices. Take a half lemon zest, and that you can really vary with more or so, or so. But I think the flavor, um, it's also a little bit bitter when you have too much zest. The zest is the bitter part. And, uh, and to take too much would be, I didn't try that yet, but um, so I would take not too much. So one half lemon for this is my ratio. And it's a very nice lemon ice cream. Uh, There's a flavor. And now I add the lemon juice and date mousse to enhance all these flavors. Yeah? That's what this year, this pairing here, this combination is for. Lemon juice from half a lemon again, and a date mousse, maybe three tablespoons or so. And again, there is another video 
linked under this one, the second one, how to make date mousse. But if you want to make your own, you know, can you watch that video? It's as simple as blending dates with a little bit of water. And then I keep my date mousse in the fridge for a week or so, and I have to use it because after when it can turn sour, it would be a pity, the, the nice dates. And but the date mousse is so nice because you can put it right here into the processor and the dates would take too long to process until it would work. And the lemon and the dates together, they enhance the banana flavors in a nice way. Banana is pretty uh, simple flavor, it seems, but when you add lemon, for example, the flavor gets a little complex. It's really different. They are made for each other, lemon and banana. Okay, enough. I have to go because otherwise it will be too warm. Blender dance for Blitz ice cream. Looks nice to me. Have a look yourself for yourself here. See? And if I do it right, the greens have to be cold enough in small pieces and so, I can really get an ice cream right from the processor in beautiful scoops. Let's see if it works now. I think it might. <laughs> and also, I want that the bananas are creamy, not in chunks. Yes, it's already soft, but it's still very nice. I can make, oh yeah, beautiful scoops here. I'll show you in a moment. And when I eat the ice cream together with the fruit salad, it really um, um, melts down into the fruit salad with the yogurt dressing. And then you have all these wonderful sweet and sour flavors from the fruit. You can, I can enjoy that so much. Um, so I, I really, um, can experience the fruit, the character of this raspberry nectarine combination so nicely. And the others are all working around them to make this combination more expressive, more speaking, so to say. That's what I do with my recipes. I put ingredients together to make something more than its parts. That's cooking to me. And I present you because to you because I want to uh, inspire you also to explore the endless vegan variety. I make a new recipe every single day. You can subscribe to MD Vegan on YouTube, get notified, push bell, like this video if you, and then find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.